What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Super Mecha Kaiju. What's up, guys? We are in the midst of heated combat, and Christian is kicking the shit out of everybody. Yeah. Especially this bazooka guy who thought he could hang, and now he's dead. Oh, speaking of which, uh, what's the name? Uh, Game Theory. Austin just did a episode on Spider-Man. Did he? Yeah. And he surmised that Spider-Man's killing the ever-living shit out of these people because of, uh, the amount of Newtons and stuff that he's transferring into them every time he punches them. That right there. That uppercut. Because it's such a small amount of force coming from just, like, his knuckles, basically. And his knuckles are all covered up with that stuff. Yeah. Um, it's imparting all of this energy into these guys' jaws, which then goes up into their neck, which separates stuff, and then brings the whole body up. Just He's basically hanging them uh, in a cool way. Well, I don't know how cool. It depends on what you think. But, um, yeah. It's cool to... Uh, uh, know that I might be potentially killing someone. Yeah, it's always nice to know that their life lies in your hands. Oh, you can mod it? There are different Oh, suits. that's cool, dude. Yeah, boy. Do you get to select them? Can you Can you choose? I think you have to craft them. So. Oh, craft that one, dude. That's the Ben Riley Spider-Man. Yeah, boy. I don't think I can. Oh, Not boy. yet. Oh, I need oh more you craft need craft tokens, tokens. And landmark tokens. What other ones can you make right now? I don't think I can do any of them yet. I have mods. Ooh, attach your mods. Get those sweet, sweet mods. I think... You, oh, you can't make those. You need a landmark. Go get a landmark. I need to do crime. I'm gonna find all <laughs> you need to go do some crime. I mean, like, <laughs> take care of crime. Here on the channel, we love to do some crime. You just gave us the episode name. That's the episode name. Oh, thing. okay. Do some crime. Where is it? Is this one cool? Oh, that's neat. You do sweet tricks in the air. Ooh, that one right there. That one's kick-ass. Or, I can do sweet tricks. <laughs> you want to see me do some sweet tricks, bro? Oh, shit. Do that one. That looks Photos very effective. Landmark should do it. And I know just There's the probably landmark. like a guide on the best things, but we don't look up guides no, at all for anything we ever do. No, especially none of the hard ones. Because there are no hard games. We're just naturally good at all these games. Yeah. Like, Super Metroid, that was all us. Yeah, dude. <laughs> nah, but this, I don't think you really... For these types of games, I don't think you need a guide. I think it's more like your own play style. Yeah, it's more like... I, I Unless like you're trying to speedrun and be, like, the most effective you yeah. can possibly be. But when a game's this pretty, do you really want to spend less time in it? I don't know. I, uh, I wouldn't. I've, uh... There are some games that I'm like, alright, cool, I want the quickest route to whatever the heck I'm doing and that's all fine that's the you know, certain games that's cool Man, I love but Time to grab a snack I think for games like this where it's just kind of like the main purpose of the game is immersion uh, just play however you want oh look at you dang That'll that's do. pretty map should be recalibrated now huh I haven't done much photography since quitting the bugle god how much I enjoy it oh Should he quit the bugle more landmarks to shoot is it now because he's full-time Spider-Man? I'm pretty sure it's because now he works with, at least in this... Oh, uh, Dr. Yeah. Ock. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. He's a scientist, after all. Which is weird, because every time I think of Spider-Man, I think maybe because of Sam Raimi, uh, I always think of him as kind of a paper boy. Oh, it's Mr. Lee. Hello? Peter, it's yeah. Lee. It would make sense. Yeah. We need a little extra time to get set for May's party. I guess Go do that thing. Spider-Man looks really, really cool. Oh, sure thing. Um, just let me know when you're ready, and I'll swing by. I always loved uh, the animated series growing up. They had, I think it was just called Spider-Man. I don't think it had any other thing. Wasn't, but wasn't that one the Amazing Spider-Man? That may have been the. Yeah, I think you're right. That was the Amazing. Yeah, Spider-Man. that was the '90s one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Where it had like the Spider-Man with the like uh, talk box effects over the over yeah. the vocals. I just thought that was really cool. I actually, in high school, bought a uh, talk box just so I could do that effect. Because uh, I thought it was really, really cool. And then I never used it for anything again. <laughs> and it was like $120. But you live and you learn. 
You miss all the shots you don't take. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Wayne Gretzky, <laughs> Michael Scott. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this game is very forgiving about your, uh, your slang. Did, did I lose the crime? Oh, I guess I did. Go oh. get you some more uh, sink spots and you'll probably get more crime. Ooh, some narcotics. You know Spidey's all about those throw gas. Uh, this is about the rent. Mr. Parker, this call serves as your third and final one. Eviction proceeding. Damn. Wait, wait, I get paid at the end of the week. I get... <laughs> Dang, Spider-Man's getting evicted. It's so hard to talk with this game, man, because there's, like, a lot of story stuff going on. There like, is. There's just so much going on that I don't want to take away from... From the experience itself. Yeah, it's almost like... Should we do a silent playthrough of this game just because there is so much going on with it? But let us know in the comments if you want silent playthroughs of games. But I don't know, I don't think. We still might not do that. I did it. You exposed all the drogas. All the drogas. Did you get paid? By the police, so you can pay your rent. Yeah, they gave me a token saying this is about it. <laughs> this is about it. So, oh, you got a spray painting of a girl on there. And it's Black Cat. Ah, oh, that's his girlfriend. Huh. So, in the backpacks, what exactly is the, that you find in there? I'm pretty sure it's more like it, it's just Whoa. for collectibles. Oh, okay. Just like interesting stuff to see. Dude, that guy's <laughs> dead. You hit him with a fucking cable holder. You can now web up the dudes and spin them around too, can't you? Yeah. That dude's fucked. Damn, you hit him with a pallet. Those things hurt. How many times have you been hit by a pallet? Several. Oh. He's being a douche. Get him! Kick his ass! I realize the irony in Can these I bag? I hope you've learned not to hit people. Because <laughs> he hit people. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's why. Are you alright? <laughs> you need something to drink? No, I'm okay. Was it just the keck of my joke? It was the keck. I kecked too hard. The almighty keck. <laughs> yeah. So, <coughs> today, I was, I was at school while I got out of class. Yeah. And for the first time in years, I saw one of the people I used to hang out with so much <clears throat> in high school. For like the first time in years. It's been like three years since I last talked to them. Dang. Yeah, dude, and like, we would literally hang out all the time. He was like, I considered him one of my best friends. Like, yeah. it was so weird. It was like, what the hell are you? I was like, what? No way. Cause like, and I swear to God, like I, I was at school a couple weeks ago, like a month ago. Yeah. And I swear to God that like I saw him, but I didn't know if it was him. Yeah. And I was like, nah, it's probably not him. Like, I saw him out of the corner of my eye, and I looked at him, and I gave him, like, that head nod that, that, that people do when they acknowledge someone. Just like, what yeah. up? Yeah, a little what's up. Yeah, so I did that. Huh. And... <clears throat> so I did that. And I was like, that's pretty cool. It's probably not him. I don't know who the hell that was. Hey, you but, gotta level up. But, I don't know. It's just who I am. I just always, like, talk to people. I just always say hi and shit, because <laughs> I'm that kind of really weird-ass dude. Yeah. That's so funny. I, uh, I have a... Similar uh, situation, but I, uh, I'm i oddly paranoid. I, I think, I don't know. I, I can't really explain it. But like if I see somebody I know around and I'm not prepared to see them, yeah. like I will pretend I don't see them and I'll try to not acknowledge them and I'll hide from them. Uh, point in case, I, me and my wife were at uh, Fry's, or sorry, we were at a place to buy food because we're not sponsored by them. Yeah. Sponsor us fries. <laughs> um, but we were out and about, and we were buying food from this place, and um, 
I saw one of my, I, was a cop, I don't know I if I'd him. call him a friend, but it was an acquaintance from high school. Uh, he played football with me. Yeah. And I saw him and like our eyes met and I immediately broke eye contact and looked away. And then like he knew my wife uh, from high school too because our high school is really small. Um, but he knew my wife better so like he looked over and saw her and like recognized her and like looked at me again and I looked away again to like not make any kind of social interaction happen. Yeah. Like a dick. And then uh, my wife was like oh my god it's you and then like they said hi and like everything was cool we caught up but like yeah I handle those situations very differently because I'm I don't know if I'm not prepared like I, I'm a weird sort of person where like I like to hang out with people but only if like I know that we're going if, if I see people out in the open and I'm not prepped for social interaction like I can get real squirrely <laughs> No, dude, I saw this guy, and I was just like, holy shit, it's you! And, like, that's as far as I was gonna go, because yeah. I didn't think he wanted to talk, <laughs> because, you know, it's been years, we kind of, yeah. like, ghosted each other, we just kind of got out of each other's way, and just yeah. kept doing what we do, because that's how life is, you move on. That's how it be. But, I didn't actually think he wanted to talk to me, so I was like, holy shit, it's you! And he started talking to me, and he started smiling, and I was like... Holy fuck, dude, it's been years since I talked to this guy, and, like, it was really weird, because, like, you know those people that, like, you talk to, and, like, you kind of just pick back up, like, where you left off, yeah. like, as if, like, as, as if, if, like, no time had passed. as if, like, it's been only a day, Yeah. that's kind of how it was talking to him, like, because we started, like, at first I was, like, a little hesitant, because I didn't know if he really wanted to talk to me, or if he was just being nice, but, no, he kept asking me questions about what I was up to, and, like, you know well, what's going on in my life and I was like holy shit like no he's actually like still pretty cool with me yeah so yeah like I thought that was really cool that's awesome man yeah so that shit happened and I was like no fucking way you know yeah that's good I'm glad he had a nice nice chat with him yeah so that happened and yeah do like, you ever, do you ever like it, it's so weird like like it, it's just I heard of those experiences, but like I, I, I haven't had one like with anyone that I used to be close with. Yeah. Where like you just talk to someone, it's just like no time has ever passed between you two. Yeah. You know, I thought it was pretty cool. But yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm still like at awe about that. That's pretty cool, man. It's always nice to have those really good like. What do they call them? Like, uh, some people call them like the faith and humanity restored type moments where you're just like man people are good and people are awesome and like i don't know i don't know a better way to describe that yeah but you know what i mean yeah no. i don't know it, it just also weirded me out too because i remember this guy and i were getting we were, we were we were planning on like moving to seattle together oh wow yeah dude that's how close we were it wasn't like an acquaintance like this guy and i were like hardcore like really good friends and we just stopped talking it's so weird yeah, dude, like, we, 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 we were planning, like, this is back then when I first started college, too. We were, like, amazing friends throughout all the high school and college. And yeah. We just drifted apart. It happens. In, like, my first couple of years of college, and then, yeah, and then shit just ended. It happens. Sometimes. But, yeah, like, like it, 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 I think that's just pretty cool, you know? I agree. But, yeah. I don't know. This, this was a very wholesome last half of the episode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll pick it up from this point, uh... We'll get some more codexes or whatever the heck these things are. Codexes. Uh, we'll pick up right from this spot next time. See ya.